Wait, what year is this? <laughs> What's the unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. What I have for you today is a book that took so long to publish, they had to change the name of the book because it just wasn't factually correct. But before we get to it, let's check in with the Magic Duff Bucket. What have you to say about this Magic Duff Bucket? Oh, a Boris the Crusher oatmeal stout. Okay. Um, an oatmeal imperial stout, for the record. Or, yes, um, it's hyphenated because oatmeal got married to imperial. And they had a stout. Yes, yes, yes. So before this was Best of Cemetery Dance 2, it was... CD 15 or Cemetery Dance 15. It was like the 15 year celebration, but it just it just wasn't gonna happen. So these are selected titles from the Cemetery Dance magazine. It used to be a magazine before it would publish books. So that's how it got its start. Richard Chismar did this magazine in college. It, uh, it, it got quite the following and they used to publish regularly. And that sort of fell by the wayside. I think Richard Chismar had the gateway drug of the magazine. Then he graduated to the books. And then he graduated to authorship. So now he's on that leg of his journey. And the magazine is like, eh, a fun little thing. And the books are occasional. Boris the Crusher, he knows, he knows where to go. This is a bohemoth. This book is signed by like 27 people. I, I have the names right here. So this book is signed by Richard Chismar, Poppy Z. Bright, Joe Lansdale, Bev Vincent, Jonathan Letham, Bentley Little, David J. Shaw, Glenn Hirschberg, Christina Faust, Richard Christian Matheson, Michael Marshall Smith, Norman Partridge, Doug Douglas Clegg, Gary A. Brownbeck, Ray Garten, Elizabeth Angstrom, William F. Nolan, Sherry Decker, Thomas Monteleone, Gary Razor, uh, Nancy A. Collins, J. A. Conrath, Greg Kishbaugh, Tim Wagoner, Lawrence C. Conley, Stuart Onan, Christopher Golden, Stanley Wader, Stanley Wyatter, Thomas Tessier, F. Paul Wilson, Terry Lamsley, James Lovegrove. Lovegrove. Graham Masterson, Tony Richards, Tim Lebon, Phil Rickman, Ramsey Campbell, Mark Morris, Simon Clark, and Peter Crowther. Peter Crowther is also uh, the publisher at PS Publishing. So that's fun, fun fact for you if you didn't know that. So all these people signed this edition. The trade edition went out like... Last year, I don't know, a while ago. We had to wait for the slipcases because we needed the signatures. And the fun fact is there have been people waiting for this book since 2010. 2010? 11 years. I saw somebody post that on the Facebooks. That's re That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I had only been waiting since 2019. Some... Some people got sick of waiting. They canceled their orders. And I swooped in like the vulture and, and picked one up. So that's what I got here. It was, I had the money in my account. It became available. I bought it. So now here it is. I don't know if I have any particular love for this book. I was a little mesmerized by all the signatures. That was something. I've never bought one of these books that had like 5 million signatures. I have 10 words tragedies by PS Publishing that has uh, both Paul Tremblay and Josh Mallerman in it. So there are a bunch of signatures on that. There's three pages of it. But this is crazy. So uh, we're going to get into it. We're going to look at it. Why not? This is where the Dragon Lord gets involved. And the cutting happens. Box arrived in just, just superb condition. Really uh, fantastic shape. I, I mean, everything is still a right angle. Boom, boom. I mean, just to so let's let's uh, check out the prize.
packing slip put that over there. Here it is. So if you get a cemetery dance book, then that's how it comes, just so you know. Now I have this bag, this bubble bag. So let's see. Kind of nice. This reminds me of uh, the Island of Dr. Moreau slipcase that I just said was uh, a really fantastic slipcase that uh, Suntup just did. Similar, not identical, but similar. Fat little book, fat little book, but it's a fat big book. You can see my room in the reflection. And uh, the best is Cemetery Dance 2, formerly called CD15 or Cemetery Dance 15. Um, it has stories with Stephen King, Peter Straub, Richard Matheson, Ray Bradbury. They're in there. They did not sign. Oh, it's tight. Real tight. Real tight book. Fresh out the oven. Um, tight binding. Really nice. Uh... Nice boards, real straight corners, tight boards, um, same material as a slip case, edited by Richie Chismar, and uh, the end papers are cool, they're skulls, whole bunch of skulls in there, and then let's see, oh, look at this, oh, it was stuck. All right, so um, out of 750, I have number 418. And the signatures just start. They just, I'll take pictures at the end. You saw that that page was stuck there, right? I wasn't making it up. I don't know. Oh, yeah, look at that. It was stuck. There's a little bit of transfer of the page right there on that signature. And it, it came off. Of, of the page here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it sucks. Uh, I, I didn't really force it either, but I have it all on video. So, you know, it was stuck. 418. Here are more signatures. Now, these signature sheets are really glued. You got to look deep into the gutter to get to the signatures. They're deep, deep, deep in there. Um, this is like a yearbook, a high school yearbook with all the signatures. <laughs> you need a decoder to figure out who's who. There they all are. Look at that. More signatures. And then that's it. So it's, it's three pages of signatures all over the place, deep in the gutter, stuck page. That bums me out. I don't even know who's... Whose signature is that right there that I now have a transference on this signature? I got to get my face out of the shot. That right there. I don't know. Um, are there illustrations throughout? Gary uh, Bro Gary's story is Mr. Hands. Is that the South Park character? Um, I don't see art throughout I'm, I'm flipping i know when i watch these back if i keep looking down it annoys me too so i'm with you look i'll hold it up and i'll i don't see any art so there's no art in it it's just a huge compendium uh of authors who have contributed stories to the cemetery dance magazine and then agreed to let their stories be printed in this handsome tome <clears throat> but i don't think any of them agreed to have that page stick to the signature page. I don't think they agreed to that. Nice. It's nice. I'm, I'm, I'm happy I got it. I mean, I'm happy I get every book I buy. <laughs> and it's such fantastic shape. So it's cool. Um, it's something I'm going to keep on my shelf. I'll probably dip in and out and read selected stories if I don't have them in any other editions. I'll take a picture of the table of contents for you all. 
and um, other images as well at the end of this video so you could see it and uh, drool on it. I'm not too terribly worried about that transference of the page. <clears throat> it's a miracle, I think. It's a small miracle that I got the book at all. I would have only gotten it if because someone canceled. So that's it. Best of Cemetery Dance 2 in my hands, on my shelf soon. And, um, and uh, a lot of really fantastic authors in here. So looking forward to it. And a lot of authors I haven't read yet. So, so that's it. Stay tuned for more to come. Um, I'm getting some Fantasia Press books soon. I'm getting, what else is coming in the mail? Um, I'll be getting my uh, Boys in the Valley from Earthling very soon, which is now sold out. Told you, I told you. Um, what else? I know there's some, I got some shipping notices to check out, but, uh, anyway, that's that. And, um, thanks for watching and humoring me and letting me be loud for a little while. Why don't you just go ahead and stay frosty?